90 day rule? 90 day rule. How many ladies think that is a good idea? 90 day rule. I don't even think women want to wait 90 days. If I just want to fuck you, I'm not going to just say I just want to fuck you. Because at the end of the day, every woman wants her respect. I am Dante Real Talk. This is an event that I started uh, three and a half years ago. It's something that I do on Facebook. Most of you guys are probably my friend on Facebook. We talk shit and bring up topics. And uh, we keep it all the way real. Man, real Talk is, uh, is, is a vision that I had. And it's pretty much just, you know, open form discussion. Just the way I explain it to everybody is if I sat a glass of water right in the middle of everybody, we will all see the same glass of water, but you all will see it from different point of views because you're sitting at different different seats. And you're going to give your perspective of that same glass of water. We all look at the same glass, but it's from a different point of view, so we all see it different. And that's what, uh, that's what life is about. It's going through different experiences in our life. Some went to college, some went to jail, some have kids, some don't have kids. Your perspective and your view on the exact same thing is going to be different. And it doesn't make it wrong, it just makes it different. The first topic um, of the night that I wanted to bring up was a topic that we put on my Facebook today that was inboxed to me. And uh, it actually got kind of heated on Facebook. And the topic was basically about this lady inboxed me and told me that she's been dating this guy for six months. The guy has his own place, and the mother of his kids, his kids is young. And the mother of his kids put restraint on him saying that if you want to see your kids, you have to come to the house and you have to stay tonight. This is what the baby mama told this man. Now, the woman that he's dating is pretty much, she she dealt with it for like, I guess five or six months, and now she's like, okay, I don't like this situation. But she said that she didn't wanna, she felt, you know, kinda on the fence, but she didn't wanna push it too much because this is, he's seeing his kids, you know what I'm saying? And she said she trusts him, he hasn't done anything to make her feel he hasn't done anything to make her feel like he's not trustworthy. So her question was, how would you let these, you know, deal with that? Hold on. Okay. Are, are you saying that? Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. sorry y'all. That's another question. <laughs> no, um, it's obvious that she still has some kind of attraction to old boy. For her to be like, okay, you gotta come over here. Because really, if she was single, she'd be like, nah, don't come over here late, Brian, because I might have somebody over here anyway. Right, right. You feel me? Because that's me. <laughs> don't come just drop by. Can I come over? No, sweetheart, you can't. <laughs> so, you feel me? Anyway, but that's the number one problem. But for her to be believing that, he made that shit up. Because that ain't Alameda Court. No. I mean, I don't know. I want my kids, you got 50%. Last I checked. Right. You feel me? So, I don't know. I think, I think the other ladies um, agree with you. They was, yes, Lord, yes. Yes! Somebody caught the Holy Ghost over there. They laid, went out. I seen it. I ain't gonna tell you, I ain't gonna tell you, I seen it though. But, um, I think you wanted to speak on that? You wanna speak on that? I got somebody out there. No, I it was just me. Y'all seen that, bro. That was that motherfucker that. Same that shit. Hold on, and this hold on. And this is my girl, cause she she go hard on Facebook all the time. So she that I, I met she that every time you post a comment on my page, I'm gonna think about that walk. I I know you were in your living room going, what the fuck? Right to your left talking like this. should have been was what role do I play in his life because once she realizes that she's a side piece right. then everything that's going on would be okay because you've accepted it right. so, she, so you, you figure she's confused on what position she's playing and so I think she asked the wrong question the question needs to be what position do I play yeah, that's true. That's true. so this is what I'm going to tell the guys first of all fellas 
If you tell a woman what it is from the get-go, if you tell a lady what it is from the get-go, like, look, baby, um, I like you. I got a lot of shit going on on the side right here. Um, but look, your booty big, and I just want to hit. I just want to be honest. I just want to hit. Now, you probably thinking, nigga, that shit don't work. I tried that. I got slapped at the bar. That don't work. It do work because it's not necessarily what you say. It's how you say it. And it's a, and it's a lot of ways. This was a topic. The topic was, um, the topic was, how do you tell somebody that you just want to hit? This is a room for the ladies. So ladies, if a man just told you, look, um, I think you are gorgeous. I like you, but I got a lot of shit going on. I just, can we just be cut buddies? Would you be mad about that, ladies? Would you be mad about that? No. No. God damn. Damn. This is a room full of not. They didn't just turn 21 yesterday. This is a full of room full of grown ass women. This is a room because young girls. One thing I learned is that if you say something nasty to a young girl, she gonna giggle. Okay. <laughs> you say something nasty to a grown woman, she gonna say, "Boy, you better stop. You get in trouble." That's the difference. That's how you know a young girl to a grown woman. Cause I said some shit real slick and everybody know my mouth. I say some real slick to a young girl. She be like, nigga, that's nasty. And I said to a grown woman, she be like, look, I'm not Antioch. I know this shit normally don't work, but Dante, you cute. So I'm gonna see you later after you done doing real talk. Yeah, come see me. And that shit work, it work. So. The, I guess the main moral of the story is make sure that you are being upfront and real and honest because no matter what, most grown ass women respect real. Even if they don't like this shit, even if they don't like it, they respect it. Now, I, have, I ain't gonna lie, I done said some shit real right to a motherfucker and they been like, nigga, you ain't shit. <laughs> but then two weeks later, she inboxed me on Facebook and said, look, I like that you was real about this shit. Right. I ain't with it, but I like to use a rule about it. So the moral was that she still respected what I had to say. I was drunk, so I said that. But <laughs> but she respected it. So that's the big moral of this story of this topic is, fellas, be honest. And it's a room full of ladies that just said if you said that to them, they gonna respect it. You gotta listen to what they saying. They right here. They they have y'all ain't had too much to drink, right? Okay. They only had one. Okay. 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 Before I go on any topics, do you guys have any topics? Anything y'all want to get on? Cause I, I want to make sure I open this. Okay, my man. Thank you, my man. That's what I, I like to see. Some some male bonding. Chest bump and shit. With respect to the topic of um, just telling a woman what you want up front and then respect that, that's bullshit. Yes. Thank you. That's bullshit. Yes. Like, they, they can respect it all they want, but they, you're still not getting them. Like, you're not looking for respect. You're looking for what it was that you approached for in the first place. So what men do, what the smart thing for men to do is, you have to allow the woman to see the value in being with you and let your actions say what it is you want. So I'm not just gonna walk up to a woman and say, hey, you know, you look good, I'm gonna do this. But I'll walk up to a woman, make her acquaintance, and establish a platonic relationship so she can witness the type of man I am. It's not gonna be my words that make her wanna sleep with me. It's gonna be who I am that makes her wanna sleep with me. Well, you need to pass that word on. Now, as I was saying, on some real shit, 
if I just want to fuck you, I'm not going to just say I just want to fuck you. Because at the end of the day, every woman wants her respect. Every woman wants to hold that respect. Even if she wants to fuck you too. She still want to, listen, most women want to hold, listen, I've been doing this for a while, man. I'm not 21. So, listen, I'm, 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 I'm saying what it is. I'm not. Okay, but you don't. I have a penis. I'm, I'm definitely not a woman. This is all. I'll take the shirt off. This is all men under here. You don't have a. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna let you talk. I'm gonna give you the microphone. You talk. Seriously, that's what it's about. It's about me listening to you and you listening to me. So I'm gonna tell you what I would do. I would not tell you if I want to fuck. I'm gonna talk to you, offer you a drink, have a good conversation with you. And at the end of the night, I'm gonna say, hey, I'm going back to my place. Um, do you want to come? And that's it. And you know what? If you say yes, you know what the fuck is going on when you go back to my place. We are not playing Monopoly. 